here's exactly how to become a business genius in just six months. Today, I'm walking you through the six M's of business mastery that will lead you to ultimate success with your business. Now, a lot of people think that it takes years to get your business to the stage where it's thriving, systematized and bringing you sales on autopilot. And it can take a very long time if you don't know what you're doing. However, if you do know all of the steps and how long each step takes to achieve, you can get to a very high level in your business in just six months. After being an online entrepreneur for over 10 years now, I have mastered the stages to building a thriving business very quickly. And I call these stages the six M's of business mastery. So today I'm walking you through all six stages so that you understand what's involved at each stage of the process. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less, Manifest More movement and I help creators and change makers manifest a massive audience and transform millions of lives by creating a magnetic movement. How to become a business genius in six months. So although I will be explaining the six M's of business mastery one after another, that doesn't mean that you have to do all of these stages in the exact order that I present them. The first four stages of business mastery can actually be done at the same time. And this means that you dedicate some of your working month to stage one, two, three, and four concurrently. So first of all, I'll give you a brief overview of each of the six M's, and then I will explain each stage in a lot more detail. And I've got a diagram that shows you the six M's of business mastery in the associated blog post. So just click on the link to find that. So stage one is mission. So during the first stage, you will need to decide what you want and plan your success. And this stage absolutely needs to be done before you start working on your business. Stage two is all about manifesting. Learning how to manifest what you want is critical to your success as a business owner. If you're not able to manifest your desires, there is literally no point in taking action on your business because it will all be in vain. Stage three is making. You're not in business if you don't have anything to sell. So I don't recommend waiting until you feel like you've built a big enough audience before you start creating your first small offerings. The first person who interacts with your brand could be a potential customer. So there is no need to wait before you start making money in your business. Stage four is movement. Alongside creating your first product, you should be working on building an audience. Stage five is money. Once you've got your first few sales, you're ready to create some sales systems that will help you make sales on autopilot and help you make predictable profits in your business. And stage six is maximize. So as soon as you're making consistent sales, it's time to systematize your business. And that means you develop processes that help you repeat your success over and over again without having to reinvent the wheel every time. During this stage, you really scale your business to the next level. So let's dive deeper into each of the six stages. So stage one is mission. During the first stage of your business, the very first thing that you should get clear on is why are you actually in business? What is the reason why you want a business? What do you personally want to achieve for yourself? And how much money do you want to make? What kind of lifestyle do you want? And how does your business fit into your ideal lifestyle? And the other reason for doing business is to help other people. So what do you feel like is your purpose in life? What kind of people do you want to help and how do you want to help them? The mission stage is the stage where you create your blueprint for your dream business. You plan how everything is going to look. You will need to decide what kind of business model you want. How does your business operate? You need to decide what kind of entrepreneur you want to be and what your values are going to be. 
You will also need to decide what kind of products you will be offering for sale at this stage and the general price points. To be able to stay excited about your business and your ability to help people, it's a really good idea to decide on your USP, which is your unique selling proposition, so that you can feel confident that you have something unique to offer people. And at this stage, you'll want to decide on your branding and how you come across to your customer. You'll also want to get clear on your messaging. How would you describe your business? yourself and how you actually help people. And if you had to be known for just one thing, what would it be? Another important thing to decide ahead of time is who you want to work with. Who is your ideal client or customer? Have you got any idea how you will actually make sales and where you will show up so that your potential customers can find you? To become a successful business owner, it makes sense to be consistent for your audience. In order to show regularly, planning your working month, your week and your day really helps you to get that consistency going. And you'll also need to think about whether or not you need any help with your business. What kind of support do you need and what would that look like? If you decide all of these things in advance, you'll be able to manifest and work towards what you actually desire. So it's very important to make all of these decisions in advance. That leads us on to stage two, which is manifesting. So once you've created your dream business blueprint, you have made all of the decisions that you need to make for your business. Deciding what you want is the first step in the process of manifestation. So that's why you decide what you want in advance so that you know what you want to manifest. Next, what you do is you take each of these desires for your business and you take them through the process of manifestation and the way to manifest what you want is to create reverse memories. A reverse memory is a memory that is formed in your mind before the event has actually occurred and this is the most reliable and easiest way to manifest your desires. So what you do is you start by creating a short scene that would demonstrate that your desire has already manifested. So the best way to do this is to script a scene where you are telling someone your results and they are happy for you. Then what you do is you relax, you close your eyes and you replay that scene over and over again until you either fall asleep or until it feels so real that it feels like an actual memory. And when you wake up in the morning, repeat the process again until it feels like a memory. And if you believe that this manifestation will happen, then it will come to pass. But if you keep telling yourself that it's not working, it's not working, then the manifestation will fail. So you need to make sure that you have revisited your past and looked at your own character and that you have let go of anything that's holding you back from claiming your own success. You need to make sure that you feel completely worthy of success and that you have overcome imposter syndrome enough so that nothing stops you from taking action that you feel called to take. I mean, it's natural to you get constant fears and worry with your business, but if that stops you from taking action, then that is what is limiting your success. During this stage, you need to let go of jealousy. You need to learn to trust yourself that you can stick to your word. You need to let go of the need to do everything and let go of the need to hustle and overwork. You also need to learn to trust your intuition and do what you feel called to do. Learning to balance your energy is essential as a business owner. You need just as much energy for relaxation and idea formation as you do for creation and action. And during this stage, it's really good to learn that there is a solution to every problem and that you are always taken care of. So whatever you need, you will be provided with at each stage of your business. And it's really important to build yourself up as a business owner and know that you are strong enough to deal with whatever comes your way in business. 
as a business owner, you are a leader. And with that responsibility comes challenges. So you need to be ready to embrace and welcome the new challenges as they arrive. And if you are finding yourself hiding from the world, it's good to figure out why that is and totally embrace it and own it. Money is a topic that many business owners really struggle with and for a good reason. So many of our, of our parents shared their limiting beliefs about money with us as we were young children, which has shaped our belief systems. If you have negative feelings about money in any way, you need to release them before you will see major success as a business owner. And the same needs to be said about selling. If you are scared of selling or if you hate the thought of selling, you need to overcome that because to be in business means to sell. You can't be in business without making money. So this is a critical problem that needs to be addressed. If you want to be a wealthy person, you need to start adopting the habits of a wealthy person. And no, that doesn't mean spending like one. That means managing your money like a wealthy person, which means you track your money, you devise budgets, you don't blow all of your money, you invest some of your money, and you know that you are managing your money rather than hiding from it. Stage three is making. So now it's time for some practical action, actually working on your business. You can't say that you are in business until you are making money and you can't make money until you have something to sell. So I highly recommend you have something available for your audience to buy right from the start. And that doesn't mean that you need to spend months creating a long-winded course before you start to build your audience. I recommend that you spend no longer than three hours creating a small offering that you can offer to your audience immediately. How can you manifest sales if you don't have something for sale? Despite what you might have been told, you don't need to grow a massive audience before you start making sales. When you use manifestation principles, you can start to make sales straight away. During this stage, you will decide what type of digital product you want to create that won't cost you anything to make and will take less than three hours. You will choose a topic that you are passionate about and that you can actually get people specific results with. You will decide on a catchy name for your product, create a simple framework to make it unique and decide on at least one bonus that you can offer along with your product. So I suggest that you start by pricing your product low so that you can test how popular it is before you start raising your prices. Pricing the product low will boost your confidence when you might be unsure whether your product is going to sell to start with. And once you start making sales, you can then construct a sales page and gather together testimonials. Testimonials are really going to help to sell your product on autopilot and you can now start to advertise your product for sale across all of your marketing channels while you build your audience. Stage number four is movement. During stage number four it's time to start building a massive audience that is going to take your business to the next level. The method that I use for attracting large audiences is to start a movement for my businesses. And a movement means that you attract a group of people who are all moved to take a particular action. And the action that you want someone to take is to start a habit that is going to give them a transformation. And that's why I call this a transformational habit. When you help people to transform their lives for free, the natural result of that is that those people are compelled to share their results with other people. And that's how you go viral and create a business that grows exponentially via word of mouth. So your tasks during this stage are to decide what your transformational habit is going to be for your business. What one action do people need to take over and over again to achieve a result? You will then create an online event such as a challenge that will bring your tribe together and lead them through a process of helping them adopt your transformational habit. The buzz and excitement of your event will help your movement grow even stronger. 
Your next task is to plan out regular content that you can create that leads people towards signing up for your event. And you need to be focused on creating viral content that generates tons of shares. And I have reached multiple millions in multiple businesses by creating magnetic movements. And I am now revealing the secrets to my method in my free guide and for a limited time I am giving you free access to my ultimate guide to creating a magnetic movement and you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash movement guide or you can click the link surrounding this content. Stage number five is money. So now you've started to build your audience and you've started to get a few sales coming in, it's time to systematize the process of making sales so that you can convert more and more of your tribe to loyal customers. So at this stage, you'll want to plan out a promotion that you can run just after your event has finished. You will need to decide what kind of sales trigger you want to employ for your business. So do you prefer to focus on email marketing, social media selling, live streams, discovery calls, or challenges to help you sell your products? At this stage, you can experiment to see which sales system you prefer and which suits your personality best. And when you've chosen your ideal sales system, you can develop a process and automations around this method. Stage number six is maximize. So during the first five stages of running a business, you will have become very successful in your business and you might even be feeling a little too successful at this point as you might feel like you are doing too much and you're not able to take a break from your business. So at this stage of your business, you will need to think about bringing on extra support to enable you to take a break from doing everything and you will want to do a lot more automation to make your business a lot more stable. And you can start to create systems and processes around all of the key tasks that you can do on a regular basis in your business. This is going to save you so much time and allow you to finally have that time freedom and money to enjoy. So if you would like to achieve business mastery in six months, walking through my step-by-step -step training through all of the six M's of business mastery, I would like to invite you to join my membership. So get ready to design your dream business based on your own personality. Create crowd-pleasing products that transform lives. Attract a loyal following who are queuing up to buy from you. Achieve phenomenal and consistent growth and easily manifest all of your goals using my proven six stage dream business mastery method. The dream business mastery membership is specifically designed for content creators and online educators who are excited to manifest all of the results they desire and appreciate a balanced life of doing work they love, making good money that they actually have time to enjoy. This membership contains everything you need to make your business a success and you will get access to all of my current and my future products in this membership. And right now I have a special introductory price. So go and join that while it's still available. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash mastery or click the link surrounding this content. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.